Welcome to another beautiful day here in Utah. The Nichols family is getting packed and getting ready to leave on a plane to Alaska. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, we got a lot to do today. Well, we're sitting here packing up and we have a little bit of a big moment here. Jacob started saying, Mama. Mama. Yeah. This is a big get for Becca because Tommy's first word was fish and his second word was Dada. And then several months later, Mama. Getting repacks a chore. All right, guys, let's go run to the post office. We gotta send some of these uh, gifts off to people so we don't have to lug them around forever. All right, guys. Well, the post office visit didn't go well. The boys went absolutely bonkers and started a full brawl wrestling match that nearly injured a disabled woman. Ah. Mm. What did I do with that toddler trap? Well guys, we're finally packed and it has now become obvious exactly how much fishing gear and souvenirs we've purchased. Because we went from essentially three checked bags to six. It's ballooned quickly on us. Well, we're all packed up and we've got a few hours before we need to head to the airport. And so Becca wanted to go back up to the cabin one more time. Do you have a good time, babe? Yes. Well, guys, it's been fun. We had a good time, but we got to get back to Salt Lake, load up the baggage into the car, and head out to the airport. <laughs> Tommy, how hungry are you? I'm so hungry that I can eat a polar bear. You dancing? Crazy. Kind of nostalgic every time I come to this airport because I remember working on the construction of this uh, airport terminal a long time ago. Got the rental car. Let's go get the family. Okay, guys, we made it. We're in the car. Yay! We're all alive. We're here. Local time is 11:55 p.m. and it's the sun is just barely set. Welcome to Alaska in July. Melody. Selfie hug. Ah, click subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> and what's up? He's not in a fetal position to protect himself You're from hugs. <laughs> I got Kelly. Oh. Uncle Curtis. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Are you glad to see Uncle Curtis? Oh my gosh. Is is he your favorite? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> great to be back in Alaska. It's great to see the family. The kids are so stoked to play with their uncles, aunts, and cousins. But it's past midnight here and we've got to get to bed. So I will pick this up tomorrow morning. It's absolutely gorgeous. The sun has been up for many hours. We might go over to grandma and grandpa's place while everyone else takes their time getting up. Oh, you having fun with grandma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go on a breakfast adventure. So we got a good chunk of the family here in the car and we're going to go out to breakfast. We guys want to go the best go... chunk of the family. Oh yeah. <laughs> you guys want to go to Gwenny's? Yeah. All right, let's go hit Gwenny's for breakfast. All right guys, we're here at Gwenny's. This is kind of one of those old Alaskana restaurants. If you want burgers, pancakes, that sort of thing. I mean, uh, been around forever. Been a couple years since I've eaten here though. Hey Tom, see what that is? Yeah, it's a king salmon. That's whale baleen. That goes inside the mouth of whales. Uh, the 1964 earthquake. My parents were here when this happened. Yeah, look at that. Sourdough pancakes, reindeer sausage, 
omelets. Ah, excellent. It's pigs in a blanket. Got myself some free bumper stickers. Sweet. You guys want to go see Muskox? Go to Muskox farm? I'm going to pet them. Huh? I, we might. Come on, guys. Let's go. We're going to the Muskox farm. Out, outside, outside. Muskox farm. Go, 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 go. Oh, we picked up a bonus nickels. Hey, Shinley. Hi. Selfie hug. Oh. <laughs> Guys, we're here. Who's ready to get musky? Woo! <laughs> Look at this swarm of nickels and rappelies here. We are going to descend upon this place. Oh. All righty. Yeah, what you, you get rid of the fur? There's not, not a ton to it. If you, if you read. Dad, before he gets his hair. Oh, dude, that was cool. Look a lot. Look a lot. I think so. Hey. <laughs> See? I'd say go out and kill a muskox and bring back the shoulder blade because I'm going to yeah. whoop you with it. Blue all of our muskox there in bush planes. We could only fit four to five muskox on a plane at a time. Tommy, behave yourself or the muskox will eat you. We've had quite a few of them reject children. <laughs> I don't muskox are them. wiser than we are. <laughs> Just because it came out of you doesn't mean it's good. Um, our calves are 11 weeks old. During rut though, nobody can walk in with the males because the males will charge at anything that moves and so one of the only ways that they can deal with the heat. A lot of muskots hanging out at the top of that hill. Uh -huh. okay. Here on the farm though, we will trim the tips of their horns. That's a muskot too. Yeah. You're right, they look a lot like goat droppings. That's yeah. what goat looks like. It's grapes. super light. Feel free to pass it around yeah, and feel how light it is. So much food here, they know there's no shortage. So they just kind of let it go straight through. <laughs> Don't eat the nope, that's actually muskox poop. <laughs> I'll say it's muskox. So this is McGrath. Hi. Yeah, you're cranky. Okay, we'll leave you alone. Yeah, I want to see Look, Nathan. Muskox. Well, let's go get some ice cream, shall we, guys? Woo! Yeah, there we go. It's kind of like cotton candy. You like that? Is that good? You got the, you got the large? Yeah, that's right. It reflects me. You grab that? Here, I'll grab it. Grab that. Take it outside, buddy. So uh, this is one of the Little Miller ice cream shops here in the valley. Uh, the big one's up a little farther north, but if you're in Wasilla and you want to get some soft serve ice cream, not a bad place to do it. <laughs> Man, I am tired. Apparently the boys are too, because there was some epic meltdowns on the way home. <laughs> Yeah, I'm tired, I'm tired. But you know, we're gonna just take it easy, eat with the family, have some hamburgers, and just enjoy a beautiful day. I love how my sons can play in this big, huge field and not worry about snakes or ticks or spiders. You know, as long as there's not a moose or a bear back there, we're good to go. It's bedtime. No. Come on. Well, guys, it's 9.30 at night. The kids are in bed. It's late and I'm going to sleep. It's a beautiful Sunday morning and we're getting all dappered up and ready to go to church. I'm looking forward to this. We're going to go with the whole family. Um, and it's just, it's just going to be great to see everybody and, and spend some time on a low-key Sunday. I'm staying here with my sister and she's introduced me to chocolate marshmallow mateys. Holy mackerel. Never has getting diabetes been so fun. Woo! 
It looks like Cocoa Puffs and marshmallows to me. I'm going to turn off the camera because apparently vlogging the worship service is frowned upon. Whew. All right, let's grab some lunch. My sister is a famous published author. Well, so, yeah. Yeah. How many books you got published now? Uh, let's see. I'm up to nine or ten, I think. Sweet. I'll put some links in the description so you can check them out. Would you like me to bring you out your steak and uh, tater tots? Sounds delightful. Oh! Ah! <laughs> right, well, I got myself a very unhealthy lunch here. I'm gonna hang out, let the kids play a little bit. Then we're gonna go visit my grandparents and introduce them to Jacob because they haven't had a chance to meet him yet. All right, guys, let's go visit great grandma and great grandpa Nichols. Now they have never met little Jacob. All right, guys, come on. You guys ready? Yeah. Right, this is great grandma. Give great grandma a hug. Hey there, mom. Yeah. Great grandma and great grandpa. Is that a toy box? I remember this thing. I remember this. I used to play with this when I was a little, little kid. Cassette? No. Come on, clean up. What are you playing with? Yeah, say thank you. Oh, say goodbye, guys. Bye bye. This trip has been a real big milestone for Jacob. He's grown a ton since we've left. He really learned to roll over on his own on this trip. And he was in that bouncer, rolled himself out, rolled under the TV, and then has rolled all the way over here. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. So Tommy and Nathan are hanging out with the cousins here in the field and they're playing tiger attack. <laughs> the boys are just excited to be able to run through tall grass and not get covered in ticks. <laughs> to bed. It is bedtime. 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 I will put you to bed. <laughs> it looks like he's pretty got a happy face. <laughs> All those long guys. <laughs> well, it's a beautiful day, and the kids are already up and playing with cousins. And uh, today's a little bit of a question mark day. We've got a big family picnic um, celebrating my parents' 50th wedding anniversary, but the rest of the day is kind of up in the air. Becca needs to do some work because she's got a major uh, conference coming up at the end of this week. And so it's a little bit of a low key thing. We can't run out of town and go to do any big fishing adventures or anything, but uh, we're gonna see if we can't find something really fun to do. Me and my brother-in-law Curtis here, we're gonna see if we can't defeat the pho challenge. So I'm here at a restaurant called Fanatics and it's a Vietnamese food and cuisine and it specializes in making pho that's spelled P-H-O. But this place has the pho challenge, which is like this massive bit of pho that if you can eat it all, it's you win 500 bucks, otherwise it costs you like 60. And it's like two pounds of noodles, two pounds of meat, and 64 ounces of broth. That's what their website said. So me and Curtis, we're gonna go in here and see if, uh, see if we can handle the pho challenge. You, know. you even have to sign a waiver. <laughs> you gotta sign it. So, <laughs> anyway, intense. I gotta put the camera down and I gotta read the waiver here. I'm at least 18, resident of the United States, good physical and mental health. Yeah, I'd say good mental health. Now, guys, uh, you, you may be wondering why I brought uh, Curtis, not just for his charming personality here, but he is the three time Buffalo Wild Wings 
Spicy Wings Challenge winner. Yes. So, oh, uh, I, I'm bringing in the heat, you know, here. Uh, he's he's my, my ringer. He's my, my, my ringer. He's good. <laughs> and our designated driver is Ethan here, my, my nephew, who's going to make sure I get home. All right, so we've got the, the wall of shame with everybody who tried and failed. Infamy and defeat. <laughs> All right. Okay, cool. All right. He's, he's doing like a warm-up exercise over there. I don't. I obviously didn't think this out well. I even ate breakfast before I came. That's that's not hollow, you know. That's muscle. That's muscle. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of muscle in there. Here you go. Holy buddy. crap! Coming out, man. Oh gosh! Right behind you. You should have like a back brace to be carrying that. Oh. Crap. Yeah, that was pretty good. Curtis, did you just immediately panic? <laughs> I'm already sweating, guys. <laughs> Every journey begins with a single footstep. Mm. Mm. Well, that's good. Really good. Yeah, that's good pho. Oh, yeah. This is how you really do it. <laughs> You know, it's actually really tasty pho, which is a good thing. You know, often when you think about eating challenges, you don't think of it being very good food. But this is really good pho. So in case you don't know what pho is, it's a Vietnamese dish, and it usually has lots of different types of uh, meat, usually pork or beef. Uh, and uh, you have bean sprouts, you have Thai basil, um, green onions, limes, there's this really yummy sweet brown sauce you put in there. That's good. Or if you like it a little spicy, you can put a little uh, sriracha sauce in there. Uh, sometimes they put jalapenos in there. What I like is how it slides down the gullet really well. <laughs> the liquid helps really. It's just amazing. How you feeling, man? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm intimidated. We're good. I, you should be. <laughs> <laughs> you guys like sludge? I feel like I've eaten so much, but it hasn't touched it. Mm -mm. Look at this, guys. There is just noodles upon noodles. I'm not worried about winning at this, but I'm just worried about not shaming myself. You know? <laughs> uh, uh, massage it. Compact the food. You gotta enjoy it as it goes down. This, this is, is way more fun, just watching it. <laughs> Guys, I am really full. I'm starting to fight that little regurgitation reflex. It's like swallowing things twice. <laughs> His wife made it very clear she wouldn't respect him anymore if he failed. It's true. I just can't afford the shame. <laughs> How many people have completed this challenge? Only three people have actually done it. We've had like hundreds of people try. I'm smiling on the outside, but I'm crying on the inside. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, Curtis. I'm gonna throw him in my bowl. I'm over 35. I should be a little responsible with my body, you know. <laughs> We're gonna need a lot of doggy bags. Yeah. What is this? Oh, yeah. I love you, brother. I can tell you guys. Yeah, the toughest challenge in Alaska. I believe that. I promised Ethan all the leftover pho he can handle. <laughs> <laughs> so, so many honorable, brave young men and women before us. <laughs> so guys, if you're ever in Anchorage and you want to try the ultimate pho challenge, please come to Fanatics and uh, look for me and Curtis's photo up here on the wall, the, the wall of shame. We're proud of our shame. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see, see this is before and after. Oh, before and out. So uh, here's our, our doggy bags here, our, our takeout. <laughs> so which, the, one, which one is for which? Look at this. This one had less? Oh, I'm going to the winner. Oh, 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 this Curtis. one's mine, right? No, that one's his. Oh, poo. <laughs> I didn't both as much as you did. I'm <laughs> doing so much. <laughs> hey, Becca, we brought leftovers. Yay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're here at Cabela's. We're gonna go pick up a few things, get my fishing license. I'm gonna grab a little basket so that I won't buy too much fishing gear. Look at that, they got dip nets here. It's for scooping salmon out of the, the river. 16 on, 16. 
know what? That right there is a big swim bait. So check this out. These are shrimp pellets. They use these in like shrimp traps and uh, for chumming and stuff. How awesome would these be for catfish? I love this. <laughs> they sell sudden impact fiber punch bait in Alaska. There are no catfish in the state of Alaska. You must be using that for shrimp traps or crab traps. All right, I got some basic supplies, got my license, so we can do some fishing today. Well, here we are at Jewel Lake, and uh, we're gonna bust out the ultralight rod and see if we can catch a few trout. I can see some trout right there. You can see him right there. Can you see him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Yeah. Here, just raise him up. Yeah. yeah, nice little rainbow trout. Oh, oh there he oh. goes. Oh, there. Nate, Tom, you want to reel this one? Okay. Let's see. Ooh, look at this. Okay. <laughs> Nathan, did you want to fish? Here, come here. Come on, reel him in. Yeah. See? Ooh, there he goes. Well, it's been fun. We've been about 45 minutes here at this little lake. Just put a little nymph uh, and a split shot on a spitting rod and caught caught four fish. So, you know, little stalkers, nothing nothing big, but it's kind of fun. All right, guys, let's go to that family picnic, shall we? Yeah. Should we go get mommy and Jacob too? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> so this is Campbell Creek, and we're at Campbell Creek Park doing a little family picnic. But this uh, creek gets salmon in it. You can get silver salmon, and we used to fish for silvers in here, but it's a little early for silvers. Nathan! What? Tommy, you liking your hot dog? Each one costs 20 bucks. Yeah, they are. You can eat late, but you get there about midnight. But you can be done. So my parents are celebrating their 50th anniversary uh, here this year. So that's kind of what this whole shindig is for. So, yay, go mom, go dad. Any others? I've got it. Can I check them? Wash your hands. Wash your hands. All right, so the rain kicked up on us. We've got a nice little drizzle here. So uh, we're going to move this party indoors. All right, guys, come on. Well, we're gonna go up to our cabin and see if we can't catch some fish. We're gonna drive two hours north, stay the night at the cabin, and uh, then go fishing early tomorrow morning and come back tomorrow. So, a little bit of a long night. Up on in. All right, guys, you ready to go fishing? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do it. We are at Taco Bell, and we just ordered what, like 40 something tacos? There's a, 24 tacos. <laughs> oh, you know you're buying a lot of tacos when you need to sign for it. The mild, the fire and diablos, and that one. Okay, who's who's the burrito person? Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, that's dramatic. <laughs> Watch the big grouse right there. Putting on the trumps. Hey, Luke. Oh, here's the cabins looking good. It's way past my boy's bedtime, so we got to get them to bed. We're a little early for the silver salmon run, so it's a big fat question mark whether there's going to be any salmon in the river tomorrow morning. Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed this video. Check out this sneak peek of the next installment of the 2018 World Tour. If you like this video log series, don't forget to click the playlist link in the video description below. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning.